I cannot yell, you get what you pay for, loudly enough. It is absolutely remarkable. There was an interesting conversation we had over on the Discord the other day. I'm going to try to scroll up and find it, but I mean, there's like a lot there's of... There's a gazillion. Well, it's not my fault. Well, search. You can search. Searching is hard. Are you serious? Yes. Why don't you talk and say hi to Ian while I do this? Not everyone plays at 144 hertz or more. Well, that's not the point. The point is your computer is working for you. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. I survived on a four core four thread for eight years. I think I'll be more than fine with my new eight core 16. Well, yeah, if you don't want to play all the new latest and greatest stuff, you'll be fine. The potato masher is here, the wafer eater. Ooh. AV went from an eight core budget option to the 16 core chip on the new platform. Are you liking it? Chips, chips, chips. Ah, Bob has a question for us too. We found Bob. I love this. I'm in constant shock with my 5900X thinking, oh, maybe I should pause this Twitch stream to save CPU usage. Then I see 10% usage. It feels so strange going from a budget six-year-old CPU to modern high-end. It might be difficult to save money as a teen, but as an adult, it was worth it 10 times over. Saving money for premium gear is worth it. Over and over. We get those comments. I get, first of all, I get comments from people going, well, I've been on, that, what what this gentleman just say? I was on four cores, eight will be fine for years. How do you know that? What information do you personally have that says that's true? I'm sorry, I'm gonna say, you don't know that. You just guess. You think that. We were stuck on four, four cores for so long because AMD was sleeping and Intel was being a monopolist. Let's just call it for what it is. What's the phrase? Call it spade a spade. Yep. We sat on four cores for longer than we should have. But that time is over. It is yes. rapidly moving. And it is going to move so quickly in the next few years. You say, well... That game doesn't need more than eight cores. No, it doesn't. But here's my fundamental problem with benchmarking. Everyone runs their benchmarks. I mean, everyone that's worth watching, from Gamers Nexus to Linus Tech Tips to, to, to the, the, that tech channel from Australia that will not be named. Um, everyone runs their benchmarks on clean test benches with fresh installs of Windows in perfectly controlled environments with nothing running in the background. How many of you use a computer like that? No one. No one. I'm going to put the link to the uh, benchmark bite size text that I've cut up. There is actually a lot of them. So I'm just going to put the playlist here for you guys. So that's the playlist for <coughs> benchmarking bite size text that we've done. The, you got, dang it, my train of thought got destroyed. Of course it is. You can't put lipstick on a pig. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but then it's just lipstick on a pig. Oh, uh, but then it's just, uh, yeah. Good that. luck getting lipstick on the pig. <laughs> Sorry, honey. This is why I sit here going like this, because if I talk. There is so much to using a computer that is not freaking average frame rates. Mm -hmm. We upgraded Rogue. Ooh. From a Ryzen 5 3600X to an i9 10850K. Six cores to 10 cores, Zen 2 to Comet Lake. So she can play World of Warships. Yeah, but you don't have to be a power user, AV. This is the thing. That game does not need 10 cores. That game doesn't even need six cores. Rogue, would you please tell everybody whether or not it was blatantly 
easily obvious when we upgraded you. Now, both machines had good NVMe drives. Both machines had at least 32 gigs of RAM. Both machines were clean and well-optimized, good coolers, good motherboards. What was the experience going from six to 10 cores and Zen 2 to Comet Lake? Awesome. I could command my computer and it would go, yes, ma'am. Rather than having to wait for my 3600, everything loaded faster. It, Everything downloaded faster. How about just clicking through the menus in World yep. of Warships? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The battle results screens. Yep, the results screens. Yeah. Yeah. Everything responded faster. Updates. Yep. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. You do have two monitors. Yeah, I got a, a ultra wide and then a 27 inch. Just using the usability of my computer went from... Do you play Cyberpunk? No. Do you play Elden Ring? No. Nope. Do you play The Median? Nope. Do you play Call of Duty 64 player multiplayer online combat games? No. Do you play Battlefield 2042? No. Well then what the heck do you need with a 10 core chip? That's nonsense. You to everybody that. out there who thinks you don't need one, okay, you don't. Uh, you know what? You don't. She could have used her 3600X. We can afford to upgrade her to a 10 core. If you can afford to upgrade to a 10 core, Life is too short to use a crappy okay, computer. computer. <laughs> I need to create that. We need to get that on a coffee mug. You can't show it in a video. It doesn't show in a video. It's not a benchmark. It's a user. Ex you have to put your hands on the keyboard and use it. And there'll be plenty of people who can put their testimonial in chat going, I was one of these people. Now I'm one of these people. And holy crap. Call of Duty Ops in our Discord is another one of those. It's like, he's... I. Almost every time, there's been a couple of exceptions, but over 90% of the time, when somebody who finally goes, I'm sick of hearing about it, fine, okay, here's a deal, I'll upgrade. I've actually had people say that they upgraded to prove me wrong. And then they post, oh. oh, wow. Why didn't anybody tell me? Well, By the way, would you please tell Ian he needs to get off Broadwell E? <laughs> Our 40 is it might run on a phenom, but it's not very much fun. Try it on something new and you'll go, holy crap. No, I see comments from people and I'm just, I see what they're, I actually had somebody comment to me that he is perfectly happy using his dual core Sandy Bridge laptop for email, school, and work. And I'm like, okay. That's just self-abuse. I mean, uh, you need intervention. That's, it was a two gigahertz, two gigahertz, two core, second gen, 11 year old laptop CPU, probably on a hard drive, mm. running Windows 10. Upward, please. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is wrong with you, dude? It was in response to the fact that he was thinking of upgrading to an i3 12 100 going well i've had two cores four should be enough oh now i know what the standard response is <laughs> jordan what? he went from a 3570k to a 12900k i wish i could go back and slip myself for waiting that long see that's we need more of those <sighs> i'm gonna see if i can find that comment and borrow it that is good so job. good job jordan damn True. It's like, really? Um, um, RB says maybe one of these fancy Alder Lake or Raptor Lake CPUs will convince uh, Tech Tech Potato to upgrade. Oh, Fortis 2000. He made the phenom. He said World of Warships runs fine. No, it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You have no idea what fine is. That is... Uh, you're nuts. That's... There comes a point... That's like trekking through the snow with no socks on. You can until you get frostbite. It's just dumb. Oh dear. Yeah, Jonathan, I reckon if you put an, uh, uh, even a 12400 in front of your dad and don't tell him, man, he'll be like, he'll be like Jordan. Why don't I do this sooner? Oh dear me. Where, where's the comment? Oh, um, it is. 
Uh, it's under troll. Oh, Samuel says no loving for Tekia City. I was not referring to Tekia no, City. No, Brian's we, fine. I like no, Brian. We like Brian. Um, where did the freaking comment go? It's under troll. Find troll make troll. And uh, hang on, troll. I meant who is using thirty seven hundred X now? So find troll. There's a troll and there's Jonathan Lee. That. Oh, I haven't installed the software yet. One of these days. <laughs> and we got two super chats too. Select all. Good night, Ian. Take care. There you go. This will probably be a good time, too. is too short to use a crappy computer yeah Jordan's didn't know it's not that you're missing it's just you don't know any better <coughs> and once you do you're like holy crap yeah an upgrade was missed in here this um, is way 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 too big of a jump don't do that again don't think you can keep your 12900k for 10 years Life is too short to use a crappy computer. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Anyway. Um, so, Javier says. Javier. Javier, I am sorry, sir. Uh, I, I'm from Texas. She's Australian, so she's cultured. That is an awesome quote for your merch. It took me two friggin' years to upgrade my rig. Just got my last piece of the puzzle, MSI 3090, and so true. Life is too short, brother. Epic quote. And of course, it, the counter argument always comes back to, but what if somebody doesn't have the money? Th then, then, then you don't have the money, and then that's a moot point. You use what you can afford, and so be it. Control. My entire point is if you can afford to upgrade, yep. do so. It's worth it. If the money will not hurt you, she got a 10 core chip because the money doesn't hurt us and she notices the difference. If I put you back on a six core chip, how far would I have to run from the frying pans? You couldn't run fast enough. I'd, I'd be, I, I'll be, I'll be Lightning McQueen. I am speed. I'm an Aussie, I know how to throw things. I, I'll, I'll become invisible and you won't be able to see me. I'll put my invisibility cloak on. Say you can't see me. I smell you. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right. I have a question. Oh. Why are so many people arguing for not having awesome gear? Arguing for a crappy computer. Yes. Why are so many people arguing for cheap stuff? Is it strictly because they can't afford better and they, they're defending what they have? Or is it they legitimately don't think that spending money will actually do any good for them whatsoever? Well, Jordan said the sad thing is I did know it was late but didn't want to admit the need for an upgrade. Nobody's perfect. Um, Terrell Including says, me. Terrell says he went from a Phenom 2 wow. by 4 at 630 to a Ryzen 3700. Wow, big difference. <laughs> yeah, he missed several upgrades in there too. That's nuts, man. Wow. Whee! Uh, well, Arby's waiting for 13th gen to upgrade to 9900K. That's fair. I don't have a problem with that. That's a reasonable thing. Yeah. 
It's a 2018 chip. But if he like doesn't upgrade until the 14 or 15, then he's waiting too long. You're waiting too long, and, and you've missed a life too short to use a crappy computer. I need a button that I can press that makes fireworks come up. It goes, <laughs> and then it it has the more you know thing that comes on. Oh, there you go. I need a whole CGI thing that happens. Oh my gosh. Can we get to ILM to make that for us? Oh my gosh. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.